We, the people of Volusia County, state of Florida, in order to create a more responsible and efficient local government. Do in accordance with the Constitution and laws of the state of Florida. Ordain and establish as our charter and form of government this charter of Volusia County, Florida. So begins the Volusia County Home Rule Charter which was approved by the voters in a special referendum on June 30, 1970. The next day, the Daytona Beach Morning Journal delivered the news of this historic passage. The citizens voiced their support with nearly 60% of the vote for both the Home Rule Charter and its First Amendment, which established nonpartisan contests for county elected offices. The Home Rule Charter, the foundation for Volusia County's council manager form of government, provided the framework for self-government. The charter set a precedent as Volusia became the first county in Florida to adopt Home Rule powers following the passage of the 1968 Florida Constitution. Today, more than 75% of Floridians live in the state's 20 charter counties. County officials saw the need for a basic structure to address the explosive growth and an increasingly urbanized county. And there was also a need to unite the county as some of the county commission districts were acting independently. The, the beginning of the charter uh, started long before uh, we actually uh, began to draft the charter. Uh, back before that time, civic leaders in Volusia County began to look at the existing county government such as it was. Each county commissioner had his own uh, uh, amount of money he collected. He had his own uh, road and bridge operation. They did everything individually. And realized that it was outdated, ineffective, and in some cases corrupt. The traditional method was to have five county commissioners elected at large but residing in districts. For example, the District 1 commissioner in West Volusia never received the votes favorable in West Volusia. He was elected by the votes from East Volusia since it was a countywide election. And so uh, this group of leaders in, in Volusia County um, contacted Fred Carl, and he filed a bill, that was the first bill he filed when he was elected uh, to the uh, Florida Senate. And there was a legislative act creating the study commission of 21 members. Once we had that uh, legislative authority, then uh, we began the development of the charter. And I think one of the uh, most unprecedented unified uh, efforts that's ever happened in Volusia County. I mean, there was a lot of interest from top business leaders and top educational leaders to come together to draw a, 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 an instrument that we hadn't seen before. The Charter's authors recognize that local self-government is the lifeblood of liberty, an idea that was advanced by 19th century American author John Lothrop Motley. We decided as a charter commission to have five district representatives that would represent local communities and even the special interests of local communities, but to include two at large persons or members that would represent the entire Volusia County community. Where the county had been so fractured in this five separate districts. It suddenly became one government. What we were trying to do was to bring about modern administration that would um, centralize budgeting and taxing authority. I present the viewpoint 
that the Volusia County Charter represents the most outstanding example of community involvement and cooperation and the best indication of home rule democracy that I have experienced. And after that, it was interesting that uh, Dr. Bailey and myself went around the county, to, to, to around the state, to many counties looking to see what they could do to change county government because our government was probably as effective as any government had ever, ever been before. The foresight and wisdom of the original charter commissioners laid the foundation for Volusia County's council manager form of government and provided for local controls in the areas of environmental protection, beach access and driving, and growth management. The Home Rule Charter had a major impact on local government as it established nonpartisan elections for county council and streamlined county structure. As a living document, the charter is reviewed every 10 years by a county council appointed citizens review commission with their suggestions placed on the ballot for voter approval. Some of the amendments have included setting term limits to four years, limiting terms to eight consecutive years, creating the elected office of county chair, unifying beach operations, and establishing a growth management commission. So it was an exciting time. It was one that, a time that I cherish because it was so positive and so uh, uh, uplifting. But it's, it's a wonderful document and I think it has uh, uh, stood the uh, test of time uh, and I'm very proud of it. There are certain challenges and needs that do arise uh, as we go forward. But I think the 50 year home rule experiment in democracy through the Boucher County Charter is a shining light. In short, the Home Rule Charter united Volusia County. We are proud to celebrate the 50th anniversary of this defining document, and we honor the men and women who made it a reality.